Hello, year three. Make sure you have your paper and pencil ready. Make sure you have something straight next to you to use as a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, something like a book or anything that's got a straight side. Okay, to, in the previous video, we looked at counting in tenths. Today, we're going, our learning objective is, can I represent tenth fractions as decimals? Now, what are decimals? Before we look into that, let's look at our hundreds, tens, and ones columns to see what we know already. So, we know that we don't normally have the tenths column. We normally work with ones, tens, and hundreds. And you know that the ones column just represents ones. And if you have one in the ten in the ones column, in order to get ten you need 10 ones. So 10 ones gives us one 10. And the same way, if we, want, if we had one 10 and we wanted 100, we wanted to go into the hundreds column, we would need to have 10 tens to get 100. So we started with one and if we wanted to get 10, we had to do 1 times 10 gave us 10, or 10 ones, which is the same as 1 times 10, would give me 1 10. And the same way, if I had 1 tens, which represents 10, and I wanted to get into the hundreds column, I would need to multiply, I would need 10 tens, so I would need to do 10 multiplied by 10 which give me would, would give me 100 okay so from what we've seen every time we multiply by 10 so we have if we have 1 times 10 it would go into this column so it would go to the left and if we have 10 times 10 we will have 100 and it will go into the left column every time we multiply by 10. So we could rep represent this with an arrow going this way. So every time we multiply, we are moving into the left column. Same way, it would work the exact same if we, if we had 100 and we wanted to move down into the tens column, we would have to do 100 divided by 10 would give me 10 and also 10 divided by 10 would give me 1. So every time we're dividing by 10 we're moving to the right and every time we're multiplying by 10 we're moving up. So multiplication moves up and division by 10 moves down. So if, for example, we have three holes, three of something, and we want 10, we would have to do three times, we want to move into the tens column, so three times 10 would give me three tens, and then three tens times 10 would give me 100, oh, it would give me 300, sorry. And the same way, if I had three hundreds and I wanted to be in the tens column, I would have to do 300 divided by 10. I would get three tens or 30. And then if I wanted to move down into ones column, I would have to do 30 divided by 10 or three tens divided by 10 would move me down. So every time I'm dividing by 10, I'm moving this way. So this way is division and the other way is multiplication. So if you think about it, we've been doing fractions. Would, is multi, so division and multiplication are both linked with fractions, but we want to worry more, the, the numerator represents the multiplication side because we're mul it represents the number of groups that are being considered. But fractions in general represent things being divided equally. So when we're talking about tenths, 
we are we have divided a whole into 10 equal parts so here we've got a 10 frame and we've divided our whole into 10 equal parts every time we divide we are moving down the columns and every time we multiply we're moving up so when we're talking about tenths we're talking about the whole being divided into 10 equal parts so if we have one whole divided into 10 equal parts and we have one tenth of that which column would it go into do we have one whole is my whole 10 frame shaded is the whole being considered no so i don't have one whole however i do have one whole that's been divided into 10 equal parts it's been divided so i need to move down a column so i would have my one in the tenths column because i have one tenth and i have no holes because my tenth frame the the whole isn't shaded so i have zero holes but i do have one tenth which is represented as decimals so the decimal point comes between your ones and your tenths and it never moves your decimal point always stays where it is so 0 0.1 represents one tenth okay so using the hundreds tens ones and tenths column and making sure that you remember to bring the decimal point every time that you're writing a new number can you look at these images and this word because here we do not have the image to represent it pause the video and have a go at writing these fractions in words in fractions and as decimals and play the video when you're ready okay so the first image is what we did together one tenth is written as one tenth the fraction is one which is the one part being considered and the ten equal parts that represent the whole and the decimal as we said because we divide our whole is divided by ten it is moving this way so our one is going to be here zero there because we have we have zero holes that have been shaded so for the next one how many parts are being shaded one or how many parts are being considered one two three four five six so six tenths i'm going to try and write it with my pen six and then tenths six tenths the fraction would be six tenths and then the decimal so the same way our whole is still being divided into ten equal parts and we know that when we're talking about division we're always going to the right column and if we're talking about multiplication we're going to the left column we're talking about division because fractions represent the number of equal parts that the whole is divided into so six would go into this column. I need to remember to move my decimal point. And zero, because we don't have any whole images. Okay. Right, so can you represent these as fractions and decimals? So you need to look at the images, pause the video, and write a fraction to represent this image shown, the shaded part and fractions to represent these arrows and see if you can write them as decimals. Play the video when you're ready. Okay, let's do one together. So if we look here, let's count how many parts the whole is divided into. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this represents one, two, three tenths. And we know that tenths it means it's being divided into 10 equal parts, the whole. So my number is going to be in the tenth column because every time we're dividing, we move into the right column. So three tenths. 
Okay. Now, this is your independent task. Have a go at using the columns. Make sure you remember to keep the decimal, po decimal point where it's meant to be. Can you make sure you upload your work on Tapestry and share it with us on Facebook and on Instagram if you would like to. Keep working hard at home, year three. Well done. Bye.